Hey, this is Lord V1. Um, today release is going to be a tutorial on uh, how to get your Voxel game capture card rendering in HD. Because I know there's a lot of videos out there, and uh, I went on a few of them. And to be honest, I had a massive, I had a really hard time trying to get. I was trying to find a quick fix uh, to get my videos on H HD-ish on uh, YouTube. <laughs> Uh, you can't really get perfect HD using the game cap, but it's it's expected for the, the price it is. Uh, I'm guessing you've got your capture card set up to your telly through the components. Then these these cables they're going into your and down, going down here and into the telly like that. And then I'm guessing you've got these Xbox cables come into your Xbox back there with the HDI uh, HDTV option plugged right anyway um, right so yeah as it's pretty obvious you're going to your actual game capture thing that you've and you, what comes with this when you install it and just wait for that just wait for that to load up I think my looks like my PC is gonna be slow. That's well, a notebook actually, yeah. Uh, right, so yeah. But I'm not gonna be capturing any data because I've already I've already captured my video. Uh, it's just uh but yeah, if he's gonna capture your video yeah, obviously you want to capture. I'll wait for that to load up. If it will load up, yeah it's loading. Uh so yeah, wait for that to come up. And when you're using it the first time you will uh, you'll get options prompt prompted to what you would like so uh, I'll go to that when, when my actual thing loads up right yeah right uh, how is it yeah when you first start this will initially come up uh, you want your input and so uh, of course so you can get the best quality you can and uh, Apparently, this bit that's American and the PAL is European, but I couldn't find any good PALs when I was thinking these C cams don't know what I mean, so I just kept it while it was come on standard and that's NTSC M, so I just kept it on that. And then you can uh, choose where you want to save your music and your audio, so I just left it videos and music, and the, the hotkeys. I didn't really um, change or pay attention to them because I just click the start capture button anyway. And the input I just left lying in rocks your game cap. I d and I, d I just I just left it like that. Uh, anyway, so yeah, you'll OK that, and you'll get to this bit. This should be viewing pretty well. Uh, it looks a bit dark because my Xbox and on standby. Just one second, I'll just wriggle my controller wherever the hell it is. That's down here. Okay. Yeah, so it's come back bright since now. Um source obviously is gonna be source is obviously gonna be the game cap. And the settings, uh, because I'm using a notebook, I haven't got the best RAM. So when I went to train trained it to to win down well, last time it prompted me. Last time it prompted me to saying recommended dual core processor, and uh, it don't really make a difference really what you're recording because it's not going to stay in that format. You're going to render it into a different one. So I left it on AVI, uh, and then you start you start your capture, and then that's really it. That's it really. Uh, so it's capturing, and that's just, and you see it start capturing like that anyway. So yeah, stop capture it, and then it'll save. <laughs> Pretty obviously into the way you saved it. Right, so when, so that's um, how to record it. Most people know this already. It's not too hard to find out. So then you close there. Uh, then this is the rendering thing that I found a pain in the ass with Roxio. It's a good software, but you just got to get your head around it really. And it out. Oh, um, I forgot which. Um, 
Oh, I kind of forgot which videos I looked in there, but there's some other good videos that give me some tips. So used to other ones, right? Because I've done some already, I've got some um, edit, but you don't particularly want to edit. Just create new production and on widescreen. Um, click you use widescreen because uh, if you do normal, you get those black bars, and so you want a widescreen. So it looks good. So create a new thing and click OK. And it'll bring you to this bit when it's just blank, and then up here it will take you to add some video. So you find your clip, right? Uh, in my videos, oh dear, what's going on here? Oh, bloody hell, nightmare! It's not the best, it's not the best when you're trying to do it. Oopsie. I'll try it again. Right, okay, yeah. Create new production on widescreen. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Then add, add your video. So you get to this bit. Um, you see, these are the HD ones, but these are the ones that were what they were originally. As you can see, it's 8 minutes, and that's the thing, I don't know if you can see it on this. The file size is huge. So if the file size was you could just upload these AVI straight up to but the file size here so you click that and you open that to go into the thing and then you'll see all that um, I saw in some other videos when they was changing this and it's a good it's a good idea to change this uh, I just well, I just kind of copied other people's when I, I did a brightness for I did the contrast for and saturation you can play about with that whatever you want uh, I did video on gridlock and I, sat, well, I moved the saturation up to uh, I think it was 62 and it made it look really green which made it look really nice so I did it's around 10 to 15 you can play about with it whatever you want and uh, do we want it just that's that's fine uh, right down here is when you like want to add voiceovers so you can uh, add your music your, vo your recorded voice and music thing and also some uh, show high tracks if you want to lower the volume of the, the video so it, um, your actual video game plays so it doesn't cut over your thing you do native so it shows it shows your video sound as well native there so scroll down and uh, I don't know if you can see it, you might be able to see it. The green, it's a green bar that goes across. You lower it down, so it's the so the, the video sound isn't as high as it was. You can lower them down. But like I can see if you got if you've got voice going through like half the video, then you can scroll you can scroll this across and you'll make a new one. So you can have it low that bit and then get a new one and make it high make it shoot high up so your video come see so video comes through but anyway yeah just play about play about with that you can really get there it's just a rendering thing uh, that's the that's the export as it's uh, there next to the YouTube one or oh, I think there's output and export as is up there don't really make a difference what you click on so click export as and then it will say, "Do you want to save changes?" Yes, if you do it. Yes, you do want to save changes. I don't because I've got I've already rendered my clip and put it onto YouTube. So I click now. Right, then you'll come up to a thing like this. I went on PAL. I don't know why it's on PAL. It don't really make a difference. I didn't. I didn't find it makes a difference. Uh, but you can play about with it. The one I use is these th you can use these three there's 1080 there's 1080p uh, which is the highest quality but I didn't bother with it too much so I just did the 720p at 60 frames per second and then I ignored the normalized thing and I'll show it and then I clicked then he just clicked create it's that one is to get the best quality from Roxio which I found 
a create video file and it comes to this and it, now this is rendering the only problem if you're trying to get it rendered quick it won't be rendered quick it takes a long time as you can tell it goes through frames very slowly so it takes a good hour an hour and a half depending on how it long it takes so um, yeah that's just my video uh, trying to help you I know the camera will shake you because it's just a bit of a quick um, spare the moment kind of video um, too many people complain about the shakiness of the cam I will uh, I'll record it just record my screen how it's going through and then add my voice to it later it was just a quick fix really so uh, that's my video hope you liked it hope it helped you a bit um, probably didn't because most of the time I wasn't pointing the camera at the actual right thing but uh, yeah happy gaming